it's Connie Stewart with simplysimplestamping.com. I'm so glad you guys could join me today. It's time for another Tuesday tip video. And in today's video, we're going to talk about a really great technique called the spotlight technique. Now, you may have seen this technique before, but I'm going to show you four different ways to do the spotlight technique. I'm so excited to share this with you because there may be one or two versions of the spotlight technique that are new to you. So, are you ready to learn how? All right, let's get started. I've actually got four cards to show you today. We're gonna start with just a really nice basic spotlight technique. So we're gonna be creating this card here with the Dainty Delight stamp set. I love this stamp set, Dainty says it all. We're gonna use this great big flower and then I'll teach you the spotlight technique. Let me share with you the supplies that you need to create the card. I'm gonna be using Fresh Freesia as my card base. Uh, five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. I have two pieces of balmy blue three and three quarters by five. And then I have two pieces of basic white that'll go on top, three and a half by four and three quarters. I am going to start creating with a basic gray uh, ink pad on this. I'm gonna ink up my flowers. I'm just going to stamp it right here on the side of my cardstock. And for this card, I'm going to say, celebrate you. And I'll just stamp that right there at the bottom. For the spotlight technique, I'm going to use the decorative circle punch. And here's what I'm going to do. You are going to push this into your cardstock. You notice I pushed the top all the way in. I'm just gonna line it up from side to side and I'm gonna give it a punch. Now we've kind of taken out, you know, a big chunk of our card, but this is where the spotlight technique comes into play. I'm going to bring in a balmy blue ink pad and then I'm going to use a small blending brush. Now, before I use this on my uh, actual card, I wanna kinda of get some of the ink off. I want it to be really soft. I want this to kinda of look like some nice blue sky in the background. So I'm just going to, you notice I am gonna go right over those flowers. This is the other reason we wanna keep it really, really light because then we're gonna go over our flowers and our leaves with some Stampin' Blends. But do you see the nice, that just that beautiful soft sky? Now, I do want to show you another little fun trick. If you want the edge to be a little bit darker, I'm going to just press a little bit firmer. Do you see how I'm just kind of going in a little, just a little half, half uh, circle here? And it kind of gives it that nice little pop. So that's an option as well. Now let's color with some blends. I have got the dark uh, Daffodil Delight and the light Granny Apple Green. And what we're going to do is we're going to color in our flowers with the dark Daffodil Delight. And then all of our leaves will be done in that light Granny Apple. This goes super fast. All right, friends, I've got two techniques that I'm going to teach you with this particular spotlight technique. And to do that, I'm gonna come in with uh, that piece of the balmy blue cardstock. So for this first technique, I'm just going to lay that white cardstock right there on the balmy blue. Don't adhere anything down just yet. Because what we're going to do is we're going to adhere this right into place. And you can see, it's just gonna pop right in to that area. Making sure that is all centered, I will just simply lay my, uh, my spotlight piece of cardstock right there. And now watch, I can just add Stampin' Dimensionals on the back of our main focal. Okay. I do want to encourage you to get a couple dimensionals around that circle. And can you see how I'm just lining that up? And that gives us that great three dimensional a little adhesive on the back here. I will add that to the front of my card. We're going to add a little bit of gingham ribbon, the black and white gingham ribbon, because that just, I don't know, it just gives it a really sweet uh, little feel. Do you love it? Do you love how that looks? All right, with the remaining two pieces, let's do a little stamping here on the inside. Back in with my basic gray. And I'm going to use one of the smaller flowers. And you know what? I don't want a lot, just a little down here at the bottom. And we'll say the best is yet to come. 
Let's add a little bit more of our blending brushes. I'm gonna add just a touch here around my sentiment and then just a little here around my flowers. And of course, just some quick coloring here with our blends because the inside of every card needs to look just as pretty as the outside. And now we'll add that to the inside of our card. I'm telling you, Fresh Freesia and Balmy Blue. Wow, such a fabulous technique how we made um, our spotlight kind of sink in and then um, our uncolored piece really pop out. So fun, right? Now I'm going to teach you another technique. Friends, I'm gonna do the exact same thing And this time we're going to make the spotlight pop. Instead of this, we're gonna pop here. So I'm going to punch another decorative circle from behind um, my balmy blue. Instead of dimensionals on the stamped piece here, the unspotlighted, we are going to adhere it down. I know it's not straight. I'm not at all concerned about it. I'm going to use this as just kind of a little um, highlight. And what I want to do is I'm going to cut this in half and uh, you can see you're going to have the ability to kind of just line this up just like that. Perfection is not the name of the game. This is just going to give us that nice little highlight. There's that one. Now we can do a little bit here on the other side. You can see really what we're doing is just kind of stretching that. We're going to adhere this directly onto that Fresh Freesia and this piece, this is the one that we're going to pop with Stampin' Dimensionals. And can you see, we've got this really fun popped spotlight versus the outline being popped. We're gonna pop this one. Of course, we need to add our ribbon and every great card deserves some bling. I'm gonna come in with my Jewel Rhinestones Jewel rhinestones are my most used, my most loved. I absolutely love the sparkle and shine. And there we go. So two techniques uh, for creating a spotlight here. For my next card, we're gonna go completely different. Don't worry if you've missed any of the measurements for my cards because I've got a free download that goes along with today's video. You can find that at simplysimplestamping.com or you can just look down in the YouTube description for a direct link to today's post. In that post, you're gonna see a big blue button that says grab your download here. I'd love for you to have that so that you can recreate the cards. Everything that you need will be right there at your fingertips. All right, are you ready to see the second card featuring the spotlight technique? All right, let me show you. So for this card, we're going to use a card base that is boho blue, five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. And I have a piece of Knight of Navy, four by five and a quarter, and a piece of basic white that is three and three quarters by five. Wait till you see what we're gonna do with just these three pieces of cardstock. For my first card, I'm going to feature the Darling Details stamp set. Stick around for the second card because then we're going to bring in the bundle. But this first one we're gonna do with just the stamp set. So I'm All right, so for our stamping, I'm only going to be using a Knight of Navy ink pad. How great is that? So this is a really good quick card. I'm going to take the flower. Now this one is a two-step stamp, but I'm right now all I want you to do is to just stamp the flower outline. And I'm gonna kind of fill this in. Now, if you have any, I like to call them bald spots, we can fill those in here with this leaf image. By the way, do you notice how it's a little bit lighter? But I haven't changed my color. It's still Night of Navy. It's the detail and the texture in the stamp itself. I mean, that's pretty cool, right? Okay, now that we have this done, we're going to work on our spotlight. And to do that, we're going to use the scallop contours dies. Now the two dies we're going to need is the second to the largest and the third, all right? We just need these two. We're now ready to die cut these two pieces. So what I want you to do is die cut a scallop from the center, this is the largest one, by the way, from the center of the Knight of Navy. And then on your just outline stamped, remember this is all we did, I want you to center up the next to the 
uh, largest there. And we're going to die cut this. Let me bring in my die cutting machine and I'll show you. Base plate one, thin die adapter two, and cutting plate three. You can fit both of these on your die cutting machine. You know, if your Knight of Navy is not perfectly straight, don't worry about that one. But your basic white one here, we do want to make sure we get that one centered up. Add top cutting plate three. We'll run that through our machine. All right, so we have our pieces cut. Don't throw anything away. We're going to use all of these. Going ahead and adhering this down to my boho blue card base. Now, if you've followed me for any amount of time, you know I love to cut layers from behind my layers <laughs> because it saves me cardstock and it keeps the weight of my finished card a little bit lighter. Um, so that makes it better when I go to mail it. A little adhesive on the back of my other stamped piece of cardstock. We'll do our magic here in a minute. All right, so that's what we have so far. Let me bring this in. I haven't forgotten about this. We're gonna put this off to the side for a minute because now we're going to do our spotlight technique. I'm going to come back in with the Knight of Navy, but here's the thing, if I stamped right over this, it's gonna be really dark because that's also the color I stamped my outline. But if I stamp off first, I want you to see this magic. So stamping right over the flower, oh my gosh, gorgeous, right? Beautiful, beautiful flowers. This is called two-step stamping. I love this, it's very fast to do. It makes a gorgeous look. Um, as I've always said, the, the artist at Stampin' Up, boy, they sure make me look good. And I forgot to tell you, I had one more little piece of basic white. Oh my gosh, is it little? one inch by three and a quarter. I mean, little. And I'm going to stamp, hello there, just right inside. Now, this is a photopolymer stamp, so it is really easy to get that in there. But I've got another trick up my sleeve. I just told you how I hate to waste layers. Well, I'm gonna bring in my scallop dies one more time, and I'm gonna take the smallest scallop. You're gonna love this trick. I'm going to die cut from right in the center of my Knight of Navy, just like this. Now I'm going to teach you a trick because my sentiment, well, gosh, look at that. This is a little bit long for it. So I'm gonna show you my trick. If you will take your die and I'm going to go over one, two, three, four, five, five scallops. And what I want you to see is this cardstock kind of locks right in there. I'm gonna show you how to get more out of these dies than you ever dreamed of. So you notice I have the cutting side up versus the cutting side down, but that's so I can just make sure that card stock um, that I laid in there, remember I said it kind of locks in place. We're gonna run this through. Oh my gosh, look at that. We shrunk down. This is truly scrap. You see it cut off kind of wonky, but now I can layer my hello there right on that fabulous little scallop. Is that just the coolest trick ever? Yeah, so we were able to use all of our one single piece of our Knight of Navy cardstock. Okay, let's do some spotlighting because that's what we're here to talk about. I'm going to put adhesive here on my stamped. Remember, our outline was not stamped. The inside was stamped. We will cover up that. We don't want anyone to see that. Now, I do want to make sure I'm not putting this on upside down because I want the flowers to kind of all match up. That's what makes the spotlight technique really work. Now, this piece, we are going to use Stampin' Dimensionals, and we're going to add that right there to the center of our card. Now we have a nice little spotlight look. All right, now we're not going to put our sentiment on just yet because I wanted to give this a little more bling because I love bling. I'm gonna bring in my Wink of Stella. Are you guys familiar with the Wink of Stella? This is a glitter brush. It's just going to bring in just a little bit of shimmer and shine. I absolutely love Wink of Stella. And if you're one who is not a huge fan of glitter, the shimmer brush, the Wink of Stella shimmer brush is just, it's gonna be right up your alley, trust me. Now, obviously, uh, I could have done this before um, I adhered it down, but I wasn't thinking. So we're gonna add it on now, but I wanted you to see, look at the shine and the shimmer. 
All right, so now we can add our sentiment. And you know, this can go anywhere on your card. It's really going to be determined on where you stamped. So you know what, I think I'm gonna go about right here. I think I'm gonna put mine down here at the bottom. Now, because I used that Wink Estella, I wanted a little more shimmer. So I have a Starry Sky uh, metallic ribbon. It's got great shimmer as well. To add this, you are going to take a mini glue dot, roll it in a little ball. I'm gonna put it right up here. You need that mini glue dot to be kind of small because this ribbon is very thin. Hey, I forgot, let me do a little stamping on the inside. We'll say, count me among all the people who are here for you. And then I'm going to say, friend. And also in this stamp set, just a great little flower. So we will add that to the inside of our card. Do you need more bling? Of course you do, everyone needs more bling. We'll add a few more rhinestones and there we go. But I promised you a stepped up card, didn't I? Okay, let me show you my stepped up card. So we're going to create this card in the exact same way from what we just did, all right? So I will stamp my flowers, fill in with those leaves, I've die cut from the center, so all that is exactly the same. Here's where my second technique comes into play. I had you cut another piece of basic white, and what I want to do is I just wanna stamp some flowers because I'm going to use these as little pieces. Yep, we're gonna make the flowers pop. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. So let me stamp a few flowers here. Same technique, I'm going to color in these flowers. You notice I even have one that's hanging off the edge. Well, I'm not, I'm gonna be able to use it because I'm gonna cover all of these up. All right, so for this particular technique, I'm going to use the Darling Details bundle because we have this fabulous stamp or die that will go along with our flowers. Now, before I get too involved, I wanted you to know something. So I looked at this die set and I said, well, I can do that fabulous technique that I did here. I can do that with these dies. Actually, no, you can't. These are a little bit different. And I want you to learn from my mistakes. So when I tried to do the technique, look what happened. This is a frame. So it didn't die cut the outside like I needed it to. So I just wanted you guys to be aware that this particular die in this set will not create the same look for the spotlight that we're going for. All right, we're gonna come in with that die. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna die cut all of my flowers, even my little three quarters of a flower. All right, I have those die cut. Now, I am gonna do something a little odd. I'm gonna put a little, just a dot of adhesive. This is, I, you notice I just kind of de-stickify it a little bit because I do wanna take these off. So I'm going to add all these all around. Remember, we don't want these tacked down, so you don't have to go crazy with the adhesive. It's just enough to hold it in place very, very temporarily. All right, so I have to show this. This one that I cut, guess what? It didn't work and I'm not worried about it. I'm going to come along and just cut these off. Don't worry, we're gonna make them look great here in a second. But again, you know me, I don't like to waste anything. All right, let's see if I can add these. Yes, that one will go there. That one will go there. Okay, I am going to get them all, yay. All right, let's go ahead. Again, just a dot of adhesive because for the spotlight to work, these do have to line up. All right, remember the technique that we just did where we lined up the scallops with that Knight of Navy? We're gonna do it again. So can you see how I'm just kind of lining that up right there? What we're going to do is we're going to scallop cut all of these little pieces that are hanging off. All right, so that when we run that through, you see it cleaned up all of those edges. I'm going to put adhesive on the back of my new die cut scallop. We'll add that to the center of the Knight of Navy. And now what I'm going to have you do is gently remove these pieces. This is why we wanted to really make sure we de-stickified them because now I'm going to make these pop. Okay, pretty cool, right? Um, you know, I've gotta be honest, as I was working with this card, I don't think I've ever seen a spotlight technique done like this. Maybe someone has done it before, but it was a first for me. Do you see how that's 
just popping. Now some of these here on the corner, they needed the mini Stampin' Dimensionals. So feel free to pull those out as well. Just line up all your scallops. Can a card have too much dimension? No, no, it really can't. All right, we're gonna get this put on the front of our card and I'll show you the wow. I've got another hello there. I think I'll put it right here in the center. I'll add my metallic starry sky bow there and of course bling. Remember, you can always come back in with your uh, Wink of Stella if you wish. But we now have two cards spotlight technique a little bit different. So we've got some double double spotlighting going on there. And of course, the Wink of Stella here. And of course, my first two cards, the Celebrate You, where you have the option of whether or not you want to pop and spotlight your spotlight or if you want it to be kind of indented. Guys, the spotlight light technique is so amazing. And I hope you're going to give this one a try. If you were inspired by today's video, would you give me a thumbs up on YouTube? I always appreciate that. And if you haven't subscribed, click the subscribe button, ring the bell. YouTube will let you know whenever I'm back with a new video. While you're at it, invite some crafty friends to join in on the fun. Thank you again for being here. I can't wait to craft with you next time, my friends. See ya. Bye-bye.